All right, guys. So my my glass plate came in, and like I said, I was gonna show you guys um, how I install my plate. So this is what I did. I 3D printed some parts, and I'll show you guys a clip of the failure of the other clips I use. I just here they are right here. These are the other clips that I used. I printed these out, used these to hold the glass in place, and I didn't like them. These were from Thingiverse. What happened was they'll be so tight that this will click and stay clicked down, causing not being able to calibrate. And I tried to like shift them and adjust them and still had nothing but problems. It just wasn't working for me. Um, these, a few people recommended these to me. They said they work for them. It just didn't work for me. So I'm not gonna make you guys watch the beginning of the video and just watch me fail. So these as well were not perfect. The bill plate still shifted around slightly. So what I decided to do was take some captain tape and I, I took the plate, set it on there first with these, just drew a couple of lines on the plate. You can actually still see the lines while they're set in place, as where they're at, that way I can hold the plate in place and then tape it to the bill plate with captain tape, all right? You guys know what captain tape is, it has a really high heat tolerance and it's what you see actually already on the bill plate holding the wires from tearing off the kind of you know reinforce the jo um, joints because it's really heat resistant and so it's really strong um strong tape not sticky wise but when it comes to heat it is so that has at so far this build plate has been through honestly most of the hellboy build was done this plate with the exception of a couple parts that didn't work before i i received the glass plate but most of the hellboy build was done on this plate and i've had any problems uh Everything's been adhering well and everything. So that's not the only step. So once I have this tape to here and I feel it solid, you see it still rocks a little bit from touch. All right. So turn this inward, turn this, turn this. So I like the more rounded side of you point in as opposed to that side. So remember, flip, flip the holders around like that. From there, these fit right on here perfectly, like on the grooves, these 3D printer files, and I'll put these in the description. And the ones that didn't work for me, I'll put those in the description too, guys, because it might work for you. People were said, said good things about them. I didn't like them. Um, this one goes right here. And that's right here. And the last one is the most snug. This one and this one have the snuggest fit. Like, it don't. It doesn't seem like it, but this one, this one, this one both have like a nice little snug fit. This one's a little loose. All right. So I've done this while I spin it around, and I've, then I put this into place so I have a slightly like snugger fit. But it didn't really make much of a difference, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, okay. So now that I have this snug piece in here and this snug piece over here, what I still use. Still use my painter's tape, all right? And a lot of you guys probably looking like, man, that is too much. It's not, it's just because you guys watching the whole process. All the part I just did with these brackets and the captain tape, you have to do once, and that's it. And it's, it's in place and ready to go. Then let's put the tape over this, and the painter's tape actually survives a couple of prints. I usually don't have to tear off the painter tape, painter tape until like maybe the third print, and then it's time like to tear it off because it doesn't really tear up with the print. The prints come off it pretty good. It holds it holds the prints well, but also the prints come off pretty well. And I slightly cover this bracket. It really doesn't matter, but that's just what I do. This was a little too far. Okay, and that's it. It still goes around, calibrates everything, but the glass doesn't shift when it's printing. And like I said, I've gone through, just doing it this way, I did most of the Hellboy build with no problems at all. At all. I'm really happy with the glass plate because it, it fixed all my issues with it, the, with, um, with my stuff not properly touching the build plate, with these prints coming out like more warped because it's not a hearing because it'll touch it like over on this side this back portion right here is where all the problems will happen at so if i print the small 
like right here in the center i didn't have the problem as soon as i get to like the um extremes out here that's when i start having the issues and like i said i tried all type of methods uh the glue stick the slurry hairspray all the good stuff for adhering prints and that wasn't it if you i was looking at the prints real close and i saw once it made it over there and it was looping back around making rafts or what have you it just it wasn't quite touching the bill plate it was making those larger rafts when it was going around touching this side so the glass plate fixed all that so this is how i do it this is what works for me, works for me guys you can use these clips this, if you go to the Thingiverse, and I include these right here with the Thingiverse, there's also the gentleman you can see, he actually 3D printed some clips, and those clips clip onto the glass bill plate and hold them onto the, the aluminum plate, uh, working alongside with these. Those are in all the pictures. They're not in any of this file, so I don't know where you get those clips from. So if you go to that bill, don't be surprised. Those clips aren't in it. They're nowhere in any of the files. So, but I prefer these over these. I'm pretty sure there's better methods, but for right now, when I was ready to get started, I was ready to start printing, this worked for me. It took me about four minutes to get everything ready after I was done printing all the files. About four minutes, kept them taped this in place, that over it, and that's it. And after that, it's two minutes to get it ready between each print, maybe less than that. You saw how fast I put the painter shape on there, and this is how I go with it. This is how it goes. I don't need it a fancy round circle or nothing like that to make it look perfect. This it works perfectly fine for me. It calibrates fine everything. So you guys are more than welcome to go this route. You can go your own route. I'm pretty sure there's a few other videos on how different people did other things. Other people have their own opinions. Check them all out, all right? I mean, that's it. That's all the ramble I'm gonna do today in this video, guys, in regards to the glass plate. Um, you guys actually get to see it in action when I print out the filament I received from my maker box, and that'll be in another video as well. Okay. All right, folks. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. Share these videos. You have other people who look having the same problems or just like 3D prints and bills. It helps a lot. Have a great day.